One of the interesting things that we find when we look at these either policies or projects that are designed to mitigate greenhouse gas emissions is that they consistently have these public health benefits. And if you're doing things that are related to energy, usually they will result in improvements in air quality. What the purpose of these two bills is, is to put a fee on carbon emissions. And what that would do would be to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by putting a price on the use of fossil fuels, which largely contribute to greenhouse gas emissions. When you put a fee on carbon emissions, discourage the use of fossil fuels, and you're also reducing emissions of other air pollutants that can have a variety of different health effects ranging from heart attacks, respiratory disease, uh, asthma exacerbations, and even premature death. The main two pollutants that we looked at in this study were particles known as PM2.5 and ozone. PM2.5 are really small particles in the atmosphere. They can get fairly deep into your lung. Ozone is the other pollutant that we looked at. And ozone is a gas in the atmosphere, and it's a fairly strong respiratory irritant. So it's related to asthma exacerbations, respiratory disease, and again, it can also be related to premature death as well. So this is a diagram of what the particles that we're talking about look like. Basically, they're small enough that you can fit about 20 of them uh, across the width of a human hair. These particles, they're able to actually pass through the barrier between the lung and the blood. And they're able to get into the bloodstream. From there, they can have effects on cardiovascular health. To look at the health benefits of carbon fee in Massachusetts, we used a model price trajectory that started at $10 a ton and then increased at $5 a year until it hit a peak price of $40 a ton. So what we found is with this model rule starting in 2017 and going through 2040, and what we found was that this rule would save 340 lives, save 26 respiratory hospitalizations, avoid 28 cardiovascular hospitalizations, and 20 heart attacks. When we put a value on these health benefits, it ends up that between 2017 and 2040, this rule would have health benefits valued at about $2.9 billion. We've made a lot of progress with uh, air pollution in this country, but there's still a fairly substantial health burden due to air pollution. So there's people still out there who are having heart attacks, getting sick, having asthma attacks, and going to the hospital related to air pollution. One of the interesting things is that these projects and policies that are designed to affect climate change will also help mitigate that still substantial public health burden from air pollution. When these bills go into effect, there's going to be immediate reductions in air pollution and immediate health gains. And they're going to happen in the same areas where the emissions reductions are occurring, right here in Massachusetts.